Hey guys, today I'm gonna make the most comprehensive price review of all the things in the mall in Italy. First off, here's the bus ticket. We're gonna go take the bus right now. And here's the bus right now to take us to the mall. What's up guys, we are in the mall in Florence, Italy. So right behind me is a billboard map of all of the different brands. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna flip this over in a second just to show you guys what's going on, but I'm gonna be out here filming stuff and giving you a good review of what's actually here. This here is the map of the mall. You can see uh, the bus dropped us off right here in front of this sign but this gives you the idea of all the brands. There's Givenchy right there, Mont Blanc. And just coming here I was able to see that Prada and Gucci actually have the longest lines. There's the bus right here and there's the Gucci cafe right there. With all these people lining up in Gucci it's freaking like 10 a.m. in the morning, holy crap, the store's not even open, it's already lined. So given that the line is so long in Gucci, we're gonna start off at Bottega Veneta. We see here shoes, 340 euros. I saw some as low as 200 going all the way up. Some laptop bags I was shopping for, this one is 18, 20 euros. This one here is 1785, probably my favorite design of all the ones. Saw one for 1200, lowest. Here's a wallet, 255, saw some up to 270. Here's that same 1800 euro bag that I just showed earlier on me. Beautiful. Now we just move over to Saint Laurent. 775 for this laptop bag. 77 euros for a belt. Like that's freaking 70% off. That's cool. Um, what we got here. That was a code for 1350, so that was 40% off. A lot of the shoes were like 40% off I saw all around the store. This particular one you can see is 174 euros, which is practically a steal. This right here is a pink bag, 970 euros, originally 1400. This right here is one of the most famous bags that they make. I believe it says 1500 on there. Um, right here, we have Saint Laurent, just a general picture of the store with all the clothes and bags and stuff. A lot of bright colors and stuff you can see all around the store. And now we've moved on. Here's a list and here's Prada. Hey guys, this is Prada right here. It's a really big outlet. And there's actually like a lot of bags, Mew Mew stuff, sunglasses, um, laptop bags, rollerboards, everything you name it. That's actually a lot of stuff in this. There's actually two floors of it. They got polos and shirts and jeans, a lot of dress stuff upstairs. A lot of the sales here were pretty good. We found some shoes for like 100 euros, found some belts for like 70-ish euros. Um, a polo shirt for like 72 euros, some bags for like 1200, especially the most famous Prada Safiano. So that's what's sitting in there. And here we have some wallets, 200 euros going up from here, that's men's stuff. Here's a women's wallet for 370 euros. They don't say the original price on these things, but mostly 40% off. Here's some more collection just so you get an idea of what's around the store. Here's a collection of some boots, some starting at like 300 going all the way up. Here are some shoes that we've seen as low as like 150 euros, so take note of that. Here's another Prada shoe going for 320-ish euros. Here's some Mew Mew stuff and some Prada shoes. Um, here's another example of some sportswear that you can get. So a lot of different styles to be had here. Different colors, different styles for everybody, some in season, some out of season. Here are some stylish sneakers for 270 euros. Here is a view of the store in general. You can see all the bags lined all the way around. Here are some other sneakers that you can see in black, some in white and stuff. Here's some dress shoes, brown, blue, red, all the other colors. Here are some shades to be had as, less, as little as 110 euros. Here is the famous Prada Safiano bag. I believe it says 1,200 on there. Here are some belts. Some of them were as low as like 70 euros, so a lot of deals to be had. Here are some jeans for 150 euros in black, blue, different colors. And here is Moncler. Just like that rapper 21 Savage said. Um, starting over here, we have some accessories. I believe these were like 40 or 50 or something like that. Now the jackets were a bit more expensive, so 595 for this one. Um, more jackets going for like 600 euros. A lot of these are like 30% off their retail price. Uh, here's a general pan around the store just to show you different colors and sizes and stuff. They mostly have like what you need. So there weren't really things that weren't there. Uh, some more jackets in different colors and textures and fur inlays and all that stuff. Some shoes starting at like 150 going all the way up from there. Some boots. 
uh, varying prices 175 okay, so that's up clear shop right there uh, pretty much there are some coats and stuff around 500 euros some lighter outerwear around like 280 or so saw some women's socks for like 50 euros there are some belts other accessories for like 30 percent off there are some boots that were going for like 250-ish uh, euros and then some shoes around a little bit cheaper than that. So that's what's inside Montclair. And now we decided to wait in that 45-minute line to enter Gucci. So here we are. Now in Gucci, starting off, we see some very interesting, unique styles. Pink, purple, different colors like that. Blue, as you can see right along the wall right there. Here are some clutches and little wallets, it looks like. Here are some bags of different colors and sizes and shapes. Here is a tote going for like 550, as big as like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Here are some wallets, which were like 200, I believe, for a men's, going all the way up from there. Here is a, oh, I actually don't know what that is. Um, some more bags of special prices. These were more exclusive, so like 500 up, it looked like. Um, some duffel bags were to be had around the corner, uh, tote bags. A lot of stuff off season. Here's a 435 euro one down from 720, so about half off, 40% off. Here's some belts that you can see. Here's probably the most expensive thing in the store at 26,000 euros for a jacket. Here's the much cheaper 900 euro jacket, much more appealing. Here is a tie for about 70 euros, a lot of different ties and colors and styles. Here is a suit for 760 euros going all the way up from there. Here is a 1,600 euro Gucci jacket. This is a scarf, 165 for a lot of the scarves out there with one or two styles that were like 120 euros. So that's probably the cheapest scarf that you can get. 115 euros for some shades and glasses and sunglasses, all that stuff. These watches were about 200 euros going up. Here is a 435 euro bag. Here is a 650 euro tote bag, medium size. Some more blue bags, some off-season colors and stuff like that, just in the mix. Some more colors to be seen all around the store right here in pink and all that stuff. Here are the scarves that I was showing you in different colors, 165, 120 euros. Here are some shoes going from 200 euros all the way up to like 1,000 or 2,000. Here's an 1,100 euro Gucci shoe done from 2,100. And here is another dress shoe right here. And more dress shoes to be had, like a higher top, 340 down from 740. Here are some sneakers in different colors, black, red, blue, white, you name it. Here are some loafers, it looks like, in different patterns, red, blue, and all that stuff. And now we go to the Gucci Cafe because I'm hungry. And since I'm recording from an iPhone, I actually cannot see the prices for myself, so you have to blow them up when you're on your computer. But these were actually pretty reasonable, like um, you can see some pizzas over there, going for like 5 euros, fungi, mozzarella, salmon, zucchini, all that stuff. Here are some bigger entrees, they had like beef and chicken I believe, and um, so you can see second courses and first courses and all that stuff in their prices. And some cakes, like tiramisu, red velvet, all that stuff. Even some drinks that they can sell you over here. Gucci is one of two cafes here, and it's nice that they have reasonably priced. Here's the food that we have. Hey guys, we're here at the mall. We're eating at the Gucci cafe. I have a pizza right here. It's only five euros for a slice. We got the tiramisu right here. How much is tiramisu? Six euros. Six euros. And we got this pasta, for nine euros. pasta with a bacon on top for nine euros. Gucci Cafe, guys, it's surprisingly cheap for what you get. After this, we're gonna go right back in and do some more shopping. Bye! Hey guys, finished eating at the Gucci Cafe. I took a look inside this store, Pauletto Tag Heuer, and I've been looking for the Caliber 5 Tag Heuer, and it's, it was like 1600 at the Desert Hills outlets, but here it's like 2000 and then around 1700 50 after tax refund, so totally not worth it. But now we're gonna go into the Coach store and see what they have. 249 euros for this stuff, 259 euros for these jackets and miscellaneous bags going around. Some smaller clutches for a bit cheaper, but everything is cheaper in the US actually. 
So that's surprising. Just take a look at these belts going for higher prices than they would be in the U.S. Basically everything in coach. Yeah, take a look at that. 79 euros, 199 euros. Not really as impressive as you would find it. 69 euros for these wallets. 39 euros. And here's some shoes right here. Just showing you, just giving you an idea. Okay guys, just left the coach store and found out that the prices are actually way more expensive than the US. No matter what you look at. Like things are in US dollars and everything and even cheaper in the US. So keep that in Next mind. Next up, we're going to take a look at this Mont Blanc store over here. Let's see what they got. Mont Blanc is interesting. A lot of the things that I saw weren't really significantly cheaper. Some belts were like 150 to 200. Pens are still sticking around their 300 euro price range. Some watches to be had here as little as 1700 as you can see here in the price area. A time Walker I saw for around that price as well, up to 2400 But yeah, so Mont Blanc, th their sale wasn't really much there. Uh, this bag here actually caught my eye. I believe it was 500 euros for this laptop bag. A lot of compartments compared to the competitors that I was looking at. And here is the second cafe that I saw other than Gucci Cafe. Here are the prices for that restaurant right here. All right, so in Fendi, a lot of the things you can find are like 40% off or higher originally, but you can find a lot of styles look out of fashion and everything. There are some monsterized collection, typical Fendi collections, some of them very bright colors and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And here are what the things look like in the Fendi store. So like some pink, yellow, purple, blue snakeskin wallets. More of those different kind of wallets here, but in bigger sizes. Here is something marked down from 1,400 to about 840-ish. This here is another bag marked down to 875. Here is another bag once again, marked down to 450. Here are some interesting colors that you can see, like blues, different shades. And they actually had a lot of baby items, so I'm surprised to see like socks and scarves and bonnets and all that stuff. Here is a very expensive coat marked down to 7,800. Here are some scarves going for like 300 euros-ish, so Gucci is actually cheaper. Here are some clothing. Here are some shoes of very odd and unique styles. And here's some high heels, actually a lot more tasteful on this side. 40% off all around. And here is another example of a shoe and its price. Next up, we'll check out Salvatore Ferragamo. And now we're here in the Ferragamo store looking at some very interesting colored wallets, just as we saw in the Fendi store, but just with a different brand. Pink bags, blue bags, red bags, interesting bags, different patterns of red, spotted, blue, black, as you can see on the wall. 50% off a lot of their accessories and watches, as you can see in this area. Here's a wallet going for 218 it looks like, 40% off. Here is a laptop bag going for 780 down from 1300 Here is a laptop bag going for 587 down from 995 Here is a 210 euro sweater, if I remember correctly. Like, yep. Here are some suits. So there's a lot of menswear, women's wear that they have in the store. Here are some shades, 100 euros and up. Here are the women's clothes that I was talking about earlier. Got some shoes right here going from 150 euros going all the way up from there. But a lot of the stuff here, whatever they display is what they have. They have no exceptions or newer things in the back that you can actually ask for. But yeah, 40% off. It's a $252 shoe there. Here's a belt example right here and its price. And some more shoes, as you can see, in very unique styles. Even a polka dotted one. Right, guys, just left Salvatore Ferragamo. Pretty much what's in there is saw some shoes for like 150 up, um, some suits for like 800 up, some little pouches and stuff for like 250 ish, and then some bags going around 600 plus. So, it really depends on what you look at. There were a lot of, so at around this time of day, there are a lot of things that were missing already. But yeah, that's pretty much what's in that store. So now we're going to enter Burberry, which is just over that way. So Burberry actually had a lot more reasonable sales. Here's some scarves for 119 euros. Here is another scarf, just to give you an idea of how much that's going for. Here are some dresses and looks like overwear. I don't know what to call that exactly. 789 euros for a jacket here, but they get cheaper, guys. 89 euros for this outerwear right here. 
359 euros for these jackets, which that look actually looks pretty nice for 359 euros. Here is another example of a jacket up close to give you a picture of the tag. Here is another example once again. So you can see Burberry actually discounts their stuff pretty well, like 40% off, 35% off, 50% off. Um, here's some coats of various colors going for 659 euros. 349 euros for these jackets right here. Absolutely beautiful. Miscellaneous sweaters going for 250 and up. This card holder going for 89 euros down from something higher. Here is a 750 euro laptop bag down from about double the I price. Out of Burberry. A lot of the stuff they had, had was like 35% off the retail with some things going all the way up to like 50% and I saw that in like some laptop bags and a lot of coats were actually like 50% off. Some going into like the 60% off range like saw some coats for 350 or 450 which were some really good deals for some that were originally like 1000 bucks. So take note of the Burberry. And now we have Balenciaga with the most unique bag colors that I've ever seen in my life. Here are some shoes which are a bit more tasteful but those shiny shoes right in the middle are interesting. A lot of this stuff was like 40% off, 50% off type stuff. Here is an example of the shoe and its price. And here are some clothes, but yeah, I wasn't really paying so much attention to Balenciaga. Right, Sorry guys. about that. In Balenciaga, a lot of the things were like out of style and out of fashion, so you get some really bright colored stuff. But uh, for the most part, a lot of it was like 30% off and a lot of inching over into 50% off territory. So if you're looking at Balenciaga, a lot of it that would be tasteful would be like the shoes or the uh, clothing. Next, we'll take a look at Fermenegildo Zegna. Now at this Zegna place, 210 euros for this scarf, 195 euros for this belt, 225 euros for these stylish looking sneakers, 245 euros down from 495 for these dress up shoes, this is a suit. I believe that was 500 euros and going up from there. Pretty reasonable price. Here's the suit collection that they have going all the way around. A lot of different sizes. And 89 euros for Zegna pants. Pretty cool. Here are some ties going for 99 euros. Some bags going from at least 500 euros going all the way up from there. Backpacks, satchels, all that stuff were available here. And some laptop bags going over here. Lastly, 450 euros for these shoes. And now we're off to Valentino. Valentino's got their typical rock stud stuff, but all their star stuff out there is pretty much marked as it is. 470 euros for these rock studs down from 790 euros. You can see more rock stud shoes all the way around, but they really had just a lot of larger sizes, not really smaller sizes. Sure. All right, quick update, Valentino, pretty much whatever size is on display is the smallest size they have available. Saw the Rockstead shoes for going for like 430, which is really cheap. So basically like 40% off Valentino. And I even took a look at Zegna as well, 40% off there as well, going up to like 50% in some areas. Armani is next, Giorgio Armani, Armani Classic. Lots of styles. Things are like 40% off. Taking a look, even the messenger bags that are normally going for a thousand are going for like 500. Shoe prices, lots of shoes, bags, 360 on a 620 bag. So basically, whatever the MSRP is, 40% off at least. Lots of clothes. 120 euros, 112 euros, so basically around 40% off for the clothes, and there's a lot of them going around. And this here is 580 but 330 now. It's a whole selection of stuff in this Armani store. Even like, let's say, this shirt right here is going for 55 down from 95. A whole lot of shoes here. Let's pick a couple of them up. 248 down from 450. 
253 down from 460. One eighty down from three eighty. Wow, these are really cheap. So much production going on here. And then you can even get things like these baby clothes. And no prices on these are money. Oh wait, thirty-three euros down from fifty-five. All right, it's getting windy out here in the mall out here in Italy. And we're walking over to a place where they have Versace, Alexander McQueen, Brioni, all that stuff. And if you look over there, you get some sort of Italian countryside, which looks really nice. And then there are the shops again, and that stuff again over there. It's ridiculous. We got here at like 10 a.m. and it's already 3 p.m. And I just barely covered the stories that I just talked about there, guys. It's ridiculous. Huge Let's place. Take a look at the very high-end shop, Brioni. Now we're at Brioni where gloves are 145 euros for that pair. We have a holder for 300 euros, all leather. 210 euros for a dress up button up shirt. There are plenty of them going around in different sizes. Here are some shoes going for 450 euros. Next pair going for 330 euros. So down 40% off, 50% off once again. Here is a very high end coat going for about 4,000 euros. A 300 euro um, sweater, I believe that is. And there's just a little screenshot of what Brioni looks like. Givenchy was doing a lot of 50% off sales. So as you can see here, some of their merchandise, nice tasteful colors, 50% off there. 188 euros for this shoe, that's the final price there. Here are some little jewelry that Givenchy makes. Here are some of their Antigona and just some other merchandise right next to it. Here are some shoes which go for 50% off. And lastly, the Antigona which is 635 euros for this tiny one, 800 for the larger one. And there you have it guys, that's the mall Italy in a nutshell. Those are the prices and everything. Hope you liked it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, but that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next video. Bye for now.